Restoring and rebalancing the bacteria flora in your gut is probably more important today than it's ever been. Uh, there's been so many changes in both our food supply, uh, our dietary habits, uh, our habits of taking more and more medication. All of those things have a huge impact and have had a huge impact on the bacteria flora or the good bacteria that resides in our whole gastrointestinal tract. So it's extremely important. Uh, we've gotten more and more pasteurized food, ultra pasteurized food. Uh, all of these things destroy bacteria. That's how they increase the shelf life of different foods. That's how uh, manufacturers are able to ship products all the way across the country and keep them on a shelf and keep them viable and keep them safe. The downside is that they've destroyed good bacteria. Bacteria that we need, bacteria that's essential for good health, uh, restoring bacteria in the lower bowel is essential. Uh, a lot of people ask me, well, do I need to take a probiotic every day? And I, to me, I say absolutely. Uh, I'm going to take one the rest of my life. I think everyone should be on one every single day. Uh, and the reason I say that is because your body and the bacteria is being assaulted on, on a daily basis. Uh, if you drink chlorinated water, that kills the bacteria in there. If you're taking antibiotics, that kills the bacteria in there. Uh, a lot of these preservatives in the food, when you ingest those, that kills the bacteria down there. Now, so absolutely, I think they need to be taken every single day. Uh, some people will ask me, well, can I cut my probiotic in half? Can I only take half? Can I uh, put it in the blender? That, the answer to that is, is no. Uh, in the old days when we first started with probiotics and fermented foods, uh, we had to keep them refrigerated. We had to slow the process down. We, didn't, we wanted the bugs, the good bacteria, to live as long as they could. Well, now there's different delivery processes. Uh, and when I say delivery processes, I mean uh, there's things that they can combine. They can feed the bacteria in a capsule. Uh, they can protect it from certain things, from the stomach acids. They can protect it from light they, to a certain degree and from heat. And so these uh, innovations that have been uh, it been brought about and, uh, and worked on in the uh, supplement industry enable us uh, to uh, take probiotics and also we don't need to refrigerate them because of that. Uh, it's the same situation. I mean, uh, most of this new technology will allow you not to have to refrigerate them. But if you start cutting them, you start destroying them, you start uh, mutilating them or altering them in a certain way, well then you uh, jeopardize the integrity of the product and the bacteria may not be viable when they get to the gut. So I would say definitely you don't want to be, uh, uh, you know, cutting them up, putting them in a blender or splitting them in half or any of that. In the upcoming weeks, I'll be offering more suggestions and tips about the digestive system as well as probiotics. But in the meantime, if you have any questions whatsoever, if you'll just post them on my Facebook page, I'll do my best to answer them.